So a common question or a common explanation people are looking for is how does this whole process work? Like walk me through a situation where a student would need the calming room. So again, it's best to imagine yourself a year down the road from implementation. At first, you're gonna learn lessons every day and what works and what doesn't. But once you reach that point of the room is operational and it's part of your system, uh, we've gotten really good at, at identifying early indicators. Um, our guidance counselors, myself, we have some parent and family liaison positions. We'll meet kids at the door, greet them getting off the bus, and you can tell when something's off. You can know um, from the way a student looks, sometimes from what they say to you, or how, just that overall appearance, they need you. So we've gotten really good at being preventative. We'll bring kids to the calming room before we ever even introduce them to their home room, check in, make, thing, make sure things are going well, and then get them on their way. But if a situation happens in the classroom, again, some students will tell us they need a break. Uh, other times our adults will let them know they need a break. We come to the calming room and our rules are pretty simple. When you come in, we are not interacting with kids. We're opening the door, greeting them to the space and giving them time. Uh, they will let you know whenever they're ready to work through a situation or start discussing a problem. Uh, they will reintroduce conversation into the room. And by that I mean, if I sit in a chair and let a student start engaging in items, at some point they'll ask you a question. They'll bring you an object to show you what they created. They'll ask you to come get involved. Um, kids like to uh, be social and they wanna be involved. So if you give that time and allow the student to initiate the first conversation, it changes the whole dynamic. So then we engage in that playful talk. I'll get involved with what you're doing. I'll ask you questions. I might take you to another item and, and re-engage you in a puzzle or something thought provoking. And eventually we start the conversations of how are you feeling? What was going on? Can I help you through it? Uh, could we make a better decision? Once we work our way through that, um, basically the initial calm down, the conversation about what happened, no matter how well it seems, we always give a warning. Hey, we're gonna stick around here two more minutes because it looks like you're ready. Um, nobody likes to be cut off immediately and moved on to the next thing. So we'll allow kids that warning. Two minutes left, one minute left. Hey, we're gonna get out of here now. And then there's some tricks of the trade we'll use. Um, you know what it's like to not have something quite finished, but I don't wanna lose it. I might be working on a Lego and I don't wanna let this go. We'll say, hey, we'll label it. We'll put your name on it and set it over here. Or where do you wanna keep this until we can come back again? So as teachers or educators, there's always those tricks we can put in place. Uh, when we leave the room, that's not where the process stops. There has to be a reintroduction into the classroom. So our staff will walk students back to the space, walk in the room, make sure they get seated well, make sure they re-engage with students and teachers, and then we're back on track. Uh, one other thing to talk about, what if this space doesn't work? Uh, you're always going to have situations where it doesn't work, it's not successful. The space is not a replacement for um, emergency situations, crisis situations. I would never bring a student out of a classroom to this space if they were truly in crisis. That's a whole different world. And then there's times we come here and kids don't calm down. And maybe whenever I'm leaving, I go right back to escalated. We're honest with kids. We just simply say, this isn't working today. This isn't a, a solution for us. Let's try something else. Uh, again, tricks of the trade. You'll work through situations. You'll know your learners and know what works uh, for each student. But in general, it's a great place for a, a large percentage of our kids.